You may have heard about the iconic Soho House, the hip members-only creative space located in major cities around the world. But have you heard of the HQDC House? Mike and John Burns are the Burns brothers, two young African-American siblings who left their lucrative corporate jobs to create a network of multidimensional businesses dedicated to the empowerment of black people. So what's behind their effort? Ike Ajachi has the story. Welcome, 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 welcome. It's a first of its kind club on the DC scene. HQ DC House is a members only luxury kind of social and culture house based here in Washington, DC. Four stories and 12,000 square feet of workspaces, lounges, a barista, a wellness space, and even a room for music sessions. And it's built to support and mobilize people of color. There's no real space for you to go that feels luxury, that feels special, uh, to where you can either go to interact with people or you can just kind of come to just decompress and be yourself. How long is it going to take, do you think? Hopefully by the end of the week. That's Mike and John Burns. Okay, the so corporate good. executive and attorney are the creators of HQ House. For a fee, the Burns brothers say members will have access to all of these spaces to network and collaborate. There's very high-end kind of co-working opportunities during the day. During the weekend, on the weekends, too, we're having about 15 events and activations a month for members from, you know, very high-end dinner series to game night watch parties. They're aiding and abetting the dreams of others, namely people of color and, and more specifically, black people. The Burns Brothers firm getting some help with a little star power. We need you out in these streets. I'm out the game. Award-winning actor Omari Hardwick played Ghost in the hit show Power. He's known the brothers for nearly 15 years, working with them on several ventures. The Burns brothers have really become, in their own right, a sort of movement, if you will, a sort of new civil rights movement. A movement that's in their blood. Dr. Diana Burns Banks is their mother. She provided health care to children living in poverty by creating one of Texas's largest private pediatric practices. Raised in the 50s and 60s, Dr. Burns Banks was one of the first students to desegregate her school in Meridian, Mississippi. And it's a real strange to see discrimination as such a form where you can come and sit in a room and everybody moves their chair away from you, which is a strange feeling that leave you sitting in the middle of the room. Alone. Alone. But you, it, rather than making you feel alone, it made you feel determined, made us feel determined that we would, no matter what, we would succeed. She enrolled her boys into military school, where they both earned high honors. Mike went on to fly Apache helicopters in Afghanistan and Iraq, and was selected by General David Petraeus to lead the rebuild of four cities in northern Iraq. His brother John became the first black partner in his law firm, eventually coming together again to build up their communities through their multiple companies. We have a core DNI and talent and culture company called the Koi Collective. We have a marketing communication company called Manchester Park. Um, we have a celebrity speaker series called Icon Talks. Um, and we also have an event production company called Style by the Burns Brothers. And then finally, our fifth company is HQDC House. It's an idea that started in the summer of 2020. Hands up! Hands up! When racial justice protests erupted across the country, following the killing of George Floyd at the hands of Minneapolis police officers. In my office, I have a, a, my TV in my background, and it's playing the eight and a half minute video over and over and over of George Floyd. And then behind my computer monitors, I have a picture of my two little black boys. And I'm on this phone call talking about real estate downsizing. And I was like, how in the world is this phone call gonna change the situation for my two little black boys so it never becomes like what's happening on the TV? And I humped the phone call. I picked up the phone and called John. And I said, do you want to go out and change the world? Both brothers left their lucrative corporate jobs to go all in on the Burns Brothers firm, an umbrella corporation containing five companies tailored to serve communities of color. All of our companies were really built around the importance of empowering, uplifting, supporting, and mobilizing community, and really uplifting the voices that often are underrepresented, unheard. The Burns brothers are uplifting people of color in their own way. They're breaking down stereotypes, catering to an underserved demographic, and setting strong, positive examples for the next generation. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.